Hi, my name is Hidayat Khan. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are talking about simple concepts, simple exercises, how we develop them and elevate them. So we'll play, I'll play a simple melodic structure. And first, uh, I'll show you exercises that concentrate on the right hand. Uh, particularly different strokes for the sitar on the right hand. But again, these exercises are not just limited to sitarists. It is uh, all kinds of instrumentalists and even vocalists can take uh, uh, benefit from these exercises. It's just a matter of understanding them and applying them to your technique and your needs. So the structure is... Simple enough. Right? So first we will take the structure and melodically we'll make that into a loop, an exercise. And then we'll keep on changing the right hand patterns. So the sitar strokes are da and ra. So first, what we'll do is we'll just play the da stroke, like... Then add the da stroke. Then eventually play different patterns with the da and ra. I'll turn on my electronic tabla. It's always good to practice with uh, some kind of a rhythm. Uh, electronic tabla is very easy. And they also give us a BPM um, because speed is very important when you practice. Um, the concept is not necessarily to play as fast as possible, but uh, to play in a way that you can sustain and uh, you can sustain what you're playing. And also there is some level of pressure on your hands, but uh, you're, you're, you can pay attention to the cleanliness of the strokes, the sur, and, and the timing and everything, the balance. Uh, I'm starting this at 150. Right? So as I said, first, We'll play only with da strokes. No, da 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 da. Now, da 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 da. Now, da 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 da. That's what we just did. Now we change the pattern further. Da 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 Right? Now we add a zirdir to it. Da dir da da. Da da dir dir. All did this. Right? So let's take them all together. Two, three, four. So that is taking a simple melodic structure and elevating it. 
as I told you, speed, practice at a speed where you can sustain, be clean, and still feel the pressure, whether, whatever instrument, vocal, however you're doing this. So this was the first exercise. The second one, now we'll take an exercise that will in, add the, change a little bit of the melodic structure and add more of your, more of melody and, and, and stroking, both and, and rhythm patterns at the same time. So it is. So this is the basic structure. How do we elevate it? Next pattern. Next pattern. Next pattern. Finally, the last one. Right? So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the patterns will start with a da stroke. So if it's an even pattern, it's da da. If it's odd pattern, it's da da da. Right? So it's. Again with the tabla. Like everything, I like to, the exercises that I do, the paltas that I practice, I like to incorporate them in a than and also show you how you can use these patterns in a than. So obviously the first uh, exercise that we did, which um, worked on the right hand different patterns and then left, now the second exercise that we did worked on the left hand patterns. So we'll combine these two. I'm raising the speed a little bit to 175. So that's one of the things that you can make out of this, right? Now let's do it in a random fashion. That is how you should sort of uh, take all these concepts and, and uh, elevate them and create
creatively think about them and, and see where, what next and, and how sort of also creatively think about it in a way that uh, you can improve your uh, technique further. So if there is a certain place where you feel like say um, you're having a problem um, with the jump of the notes, right? Right? Things like this. So create a pattern where, which has these jumps. So forth and so on there are many different exercises like this thirdly i really want to show you this uh, very interesting uh, pattern which is a mirkhand exercise it's right so please write this pattern down because once you write it down it'll be very easy for you to memorize and sort of then improvise on it so the first block so to say is Second one. Now return changes a little bit. I'm increasing it slightly bit more. I find taking this palta and, and exercising it for a few minutes, it has a, a really interesting hypnotic quality to it. Adding weight to certain places and changing up the strokes. Dynamics, strength, strokes, maybe even a little bit more work with the left hand. So we'll add 
mean as well. Now let's start improvising in it. So take this basic concept, but it's completely improvised. Back to the original part of So we combined the last two paldas in this in this particular improvisation so one uh, really good way of exercising and um, practicing the arts is also where uh, you just constantly for whatever amount of time are just improvising in a certain uh, rag or whatever you know so so right now we this is the scale that we're playing right so in this just spend a few minutes just simply just just playing random things and and within those random things you will start to find patterns and within those patterns you will find ways of improving your technique your creativity and and many things i'll give you a small uh, example before i say bye let's put the tabla machine back on and i'm going to speed it up a little bit more Hope you've enjoyed that. Hope I've been able to pass on some of the information that I have learned. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please do write them in the comment. I love feedback from my audience. Uh, it gives me direction as well. 
And uh, if you like these uh, videos and this content, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.